Hey, Chad here with Speed Addicts, the fast growing gear site on the web. And today we're gonna uncreate the anti-gravity ATZ7 lithium ion battery. What's up, Speed Addicts fam? Before we jump in and tell you about another anti-gravity lithium ion solution for you, subscribe to the Speed Addicts channel. It's only gonna take you a click. You're up to date on all the latest parts and gear. We're gonna educate you, make sure you don't miss out on the latest and greatest. Also, if you'd like to support us here at speedaddicts.com, you can do so by simply shopping with us. There's going to be a link in the description below that will get you right over to the complete selection of beautiful anti-gravity lithium-ion batteries. Shop to your heart's content. Find a set of new gloves. Find a helmet. Grab some tires. Whatever you need for your bike, we've got it over at Speed Addicts. Okay, let's talk about lithium-ion batteries, specifically the anti-gravity ATZ7. This is a form, small format. It's suitable for a lot of enduro bikes with electric starts. It's very, very lightweight and packs a punch at 150 cranking amps. It can also be used in race or track day, uh, road going machines up to 600 cc's or thereabout. Again, it's not recommended for a street application in a sport bike, but for a track day bike that you just gotta get rolling and get out to the track, this will save you some weight. We like anti-gravity because they are US owned and founded, actually native Californian, uh, founded anti-gravity. They're actually not located far from us. They stand behind their products and they make great stuff. This battery is gonna run 129 MSRP, the most affordable weight savings you can buy and a very quick, gratifying upgrade that you can make in your own garage. Even if you're not a mechanic, do follow the instructions, okay? This is electricity, so do pay attention, read what they're saying here. Now, the cool thing about this battery, it does have four terminals, so it is flexible. It's ambidextrous, so to speak. No matter where your negatives and positives are coming into your battery box, you will be able to dial it in. They also include some shims, foam shims with adhesive because it's probably gonna be smaller than your lead acid, your heavy lead acid battery that you're replacing. Other cool things about anti-gravity lithium ion batteries, uh, particularly this one and any other ones that uh, are suitable for everyday use, uh, will have their restart technology. Now what that is, it's kind of two technologies in one here. Lithium ion batteries do not like being completely drained. So it's important they bake in a discharge protecting uh, technology here, uh, cause otherwise the cells can get damaged. So what's gonna happen is if you leave your ignition on your bike's lights on out on the trail and you're going and yucking it up with your friends, you come back, the, uh, the battery is dead. You, all you have to do is get into your battery compartment, press this button and it's gonna unlock a reserve charge that's been saved for you to restart your bike and get riding again. It's cool, I promise. Okay, so you get the restart technology. This battery is a direct, oh, they give you the terminal hardware as well. I was hiding that from you. Okay, here we go. Direct replacement for these lead acid models right there. So that's pretty easy if you have one of those and it's lead acid, you got a Uasa in there or something like that. This is what you need to replace it. We also have most of the vehicle applications for anti-gravity listed right on our site and our part finder should help you find your way. In case you're not sure, I always tell you, go talk to our rider support team. We pay them there to come and help you make the right buying decision, especially when it comes to hard parts you're not sure. Hit the live chat, call us, ask for help. So we already talked to you about the battery management system and the discharge protection as well as the cell balancing. So there's a lot of smart technology that's baked in to this. Another great thing about lithium ion batteries, they'll usually last about as twice as long as lead acid when they're, um, when they're in use or their standby time is also about a year. So if you're gonna only go riding every you know several months, all you have to do is make sure you disconnect your terminal so you don't get any paras or, um, parasitic draw, right? So no, uh, no energy is coming off the battery into your, your bike's electrical system, disconnect it, and it can be on standby up to a year. You don't need a trickle charger. In terms of charging though, if you do run it too low, you need to charge the battery without using the machine, you are gonna have to get a lithium ion specific battery charger. Don't just use your lead acid trickle charger or whatever you have in the garage unless it specifically says that it's compatible with lithium batteries, otherwise you will trash your battery. Okay, the case size, 4.53 by 2.75 by 3.3 inches. This information's all on their product page, 150 
cranking amps, seven amp hours, all packed into 1.3 pounds. That heavy uh, YTZ7 that you've got in there that's lead acid is gonna be about five pounds. So that is your weight savings, it's huge. Um, three year warranty on this battery from anti-gravity, first year's free replacement, the other two are prorated. And again, this is a, a go-to for a lot of enduro bikes with electric start, you wanna get that weight savings. You'll be dialed in. Yes, you'll start your 450 or 500, no problem. Race and track day guys on sport bikes can get away with a 600cc start on this. That does it, you still got questions. Again, Rider Support's waiting for you. You got, you got experience with anti-gravity batteries. Share that with the community. That's all I got for you. See you next time to find out what's in the crate.